Rahman Ibrahim. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, here's another short tutorial on software defined radio. Uh, so, the way I'm doing it is this I'm using GNU Radio Companion, and that is connected to my Hack RF via my cable, and that is connected to my Hack RF with a transmitting antenna. And then I have my phone, which is connected to my RTL SDR dongle that is connected via USB hub. And so what I'm going to do, as you can see, that I'm going to transmit a signal. Uh, so the reason of this tutorial is to show you how easily is to prototype a transmitter and receive a signal on the other hand. So that's the idea behind it. So I have my hack RF which is connected and my flow graph is quite simple. Uh, I have a signal source that is generating a frequency as you can see of 325 megahertz. Uh, since I am connecting an Osmocom sync, that is actually depicting your hack RF which is connected right here. Uh, what this allows me to do is actually uh, allows my hack RF to act as a transmitter. Uh, then I just simply have a frequency sync and a GUI time sync. And I have a frequency right here which is around 325 megahertz. So that's the signal source that my signal source is generating and this is what I'm transmitting using my hack RF. Now the next step is quite simple. I'm going to transmit it from my hack RF and I'm going to receive it on my phone that is running RF analyzer using RTL SDR dongle. That's the beautiful setup, a simple setup just to see. So now what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to run this flow graph and I'm going to hit a play button here. All right. All I'm going to do is just simply run a play button, hit play button. Once I hit a play button, look at this. Now what will happen? I would start seeing this spike. So now what's going on is that my hack RF is actually transmitting a signal at 325 megahertz while my phone which is actually tuned using using my RTL SDR dongle as a software defined radio just to monitor signal at 325 megahertz this is what it looks like. Now what I'm going to do this is what my hack RF my GUI and uh, my time sync signal and my uh, FFT signal looks like. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to simply hit a stop button here. So you can clearly see once I do hit that button, I won't see that large spike which I'm seeing on my phone, which shows that my signal is being transmitted at about negative 112, 115 dBm of power. So just simply do that. I'm just going to hit a stop button. Once I hit that stop button, you will see this spike will disappear. Any minute now. Oh no, I haven't properly pressed it yet. So I'm going to press it again, this black button. So once I press this, you will see the disappearing. So now the spike is gone. So this is a very basic way to actually implement and prototype your radios and to see it uh, in action using software defined radio. So I hope you like this small tutorial on software defined radio. And if you have any questions, leave it in a comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.